Hey, this is Dylan with Repair Spots. Today in this video, we're going to be covering the checkout features from an existing repair. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to go ahead and find the repair that we want to check out from. To do this, we'll go ahead and find our repair either by going to the repair screen or by scanning the QR code on the label of a printed repair. From the repair details screen, we have two different checkout features. We can either do a checkout and completely charge everything that's in the repair, and that's going to bring all of the parts and accessories that we can find here in this repair over to the checkout page. Or we can make a deposit and choose to pay a balance on specific items within the repair. Let's first make a deposit on this item before going to checkout. We'll type in the amount we're going to pay. Next, when we go to continue, it's going to take us to the checkout screen. We can go ahead and add anything else to the sale if we like, and it's not going to affect how the repair treats us. For this example, let's just go ahead to our payment screen. We'll choose the payment method. And there we have it. If we want to print this, we can go ahead and print this right here. And if we want to add a warranty to the repair, we can go ahead and do that here. We'll be doing that later on our full checkout though. So let's go back to our repair. All right, now we can see the deposit that we made on this repair. If we open this, we'll be able to see the transaction we can print the transaction, email it, void, and etc., just like you would be able to any other transaction from anywhere else in the app. Also within the receipt, we'll have the repair balance and any change given back to the customer. All right. Now, let's say that this repair has been finished. We can update the repair status. See, so this is repaired and then we can go to the checkout screen here. This is gonna bring everything that's remaining from the balance of the repair. We can add anything else to the sale if we like, and we'll continue to the payment. We'll choose the payment method. If we wanna add any other recommended products at this time, we can. And then we can go ahead and also attach a warranty to this. Right. So we can change the date if this actually was going to be set from the 18th, for example. We'll assign the period. We can either manually assign a period or choose one of these options. And then any notes that might be important for the warranty here. Any images can also be attached to this note as well, just so that we have this all included in the repair for our technicians to know and our shop to handle this properly in the future, if this device ever comes back. And there we go. We see both payments and we have our total paid. We also have our warranty timer on the left hand side. We're able to see how much time is remaining. We also have a little timer bar as well that helps us understand how much of the warranty is still remaining.